As doctors, we ask a lot of questions. Do you drink, smoke, drugs? Where does it hurt? Where did the pain start? Where does the pain radiate? Is it burning, itching, shooting? Tell me. Do you want my head to explode? But we want you to ask us questions too. It can't just be one-sided. So here we go. These are the questions you should be asking your doctor. Am I contagious? Yes, sometimes it's a very obvious question, but sometimes it's not so clear. For example, with the flu, you can be contagious one day prior to having symptoms, and you can stay contagious for up to seven days. That's why it's really important to ask the doctor so we can give you guidance on how to prevent you from spreading this to your loved ones. Sneezing into your elbow, washing your hands, avoiding touching your face. These simple actions can save lives. What websites can I trust? The internet is literally a misinformation superhighway, with celebrities and IK experts giving you complete garbage advice. Take for instance Goop.com's recommendation to put a jade egg into your vagina for improved fertility. As a doctor, I want my patients to be educated and proactive. We can cover everything in a 15 or 30 minute visit. There are quality websites that your doctor does trust, so please ask the question. Why should I take this medication? These are dog pills. We have the same symptoms. Sometimes a doctor will prescribe a medication and you don't have an exact answer as to why you're taking it. But it's really important to hammer down specifically, why should you be on it? Is this a treatment? Is this a cure? Is this gonna just control my symptoms? Are there any alternatives, natural or otherwise, that can help you solve this problem? When you get a complete picture, you can make the most educated decision possible. And a major aspect to medications is, Side effects. See, I'm pointing to the side. What are the side effects? Any treatment that a doctor can prescribe you can carry some sort of side effects. Whether you're okay with those side effects is a very important conversation to have. In some cases, you may only want control of your symptoms. In other cases, you may want total eradication of the disease, at which point you may be okay with worse side effects. That's why it's always a balancing game between risks and benefits on an individual level. BS alert, sometimes you're gonna find stuff online that overstates the side effects of certain treatments. Take, for instance, the supposed link between autism and childhood vaccinations. Complete garbage. Forget about it. Forget about it. We're in an era of overtesting. Tests are not always benign and some do carry side effects and some can be incredibly costly. That's why you need not be afraid to ask your doctor this question. When we order a test, it should be to confirm a suspected diagnosis we already have in mind. It shouldn't be just to order a bunch of tests and hope something sticks. Knowing the purpose of getting a test will allow you to better evaluate the risks versus benefits and to get the most cost-effective care. Overtesting can lead to overdiagnosis and overdiagnosis can be a real problem. Just to clarify, overdiagnosis diagnosis is not a wrong diagnosis. It's just finding an issue that may have never caused a problem, but now you're forced to address it because you found it on a scan. When should I follow up? It's really easy to leave the doctor's office and forget to ask this critical question. Normally your visits are on six month intervals, but if you start a new treatment or medication, you may need to return sooner than that. Also asking this question can prompt your doctor to remind you to be on the lookout for certain symptoms and side effects that can cause you to need to return earlier. A common question I get from my patients is, doctor, what do you think I should do? And while we can give recommendations, ethically, we can't tell you what to do. A better question would be, doctor, what would you recommend to your family? Because this gives you tremendous insight into how the doctor thinks when thinking about a loved one, and it nurtures that doctor-patient relationship. But please remember, what's best for the doctor and their family members may not be what's best for you. So feel free to explore the question in detail. What should I focus on? Wait, wait, a am I in focus? There you go. Yes, you should follow your basic treatment plan, but there's usually additional guidance that you can get from your doctor by asking this question. Should you keep a log of your symptoms? Should you take a picture of the rash if it were to recur? All of these are great points for you to keep in mind to help your doctor come to a diagnosis sooner. Plus, lifestyle modifications are an incredibly important part of your health in general, not just focusing on your current problem. 
can I have a chaperone? Don't be afraid to ask this question. The goal of the medical exam is to make you feel 100% comfortable with what's going on. The likelihood that something inappropriate will occur with a second medical professional in the room is much lower, so he can put you at ease. And in light of the circumstances with the US gymnastics team, this is even a more important time to ask this question. Have you treated this before? What did you say? Well, maybe you don't have to be so confrontational about it. Ask, how much experience do you have treating patients with this condition? Sometimes you may have a very obscure condition that a lot of doctors haven't seen. And this line of questioning will create a bond and trust between you and the doctor because one of two things may happen. The doctor may say, yes, I have plenty of experience with this and you'll feel more at ease. Or two, the doctor may honestly say that they don't have a lot of experience, but they can get the information elsewhere or refer you out. That way you can have that honest feedback and know what you're really getting. Just to remind you, this question applies more to procedures and surgeries where hands-on experience is of utmost importance. So there you have it. Those are some great questions to ask your doctor to get the most out of your visit. Now I've listed all of them down below in the description box. And speaking of questions, I love it when you ask me questions. So leave them down below in the comment section and I'll answer as often as I can. Thank you for watching and as always, stay happy and healthy. What's your family history? Do you have any allergies? What's your social history? What's your problem? <laughs> so there you have it. Those are the most important questions to ask your doctor to get the most out of your, I say most twice. Fun fact, if you take Coumadin, a blood thinner, and eat green leafy vegetables at the same time, you can reduce the effectiveness of the drug and that can lead to a blood clot. That's not really a fun fact. And speaking of questions, I love it when you ask me questions. So leave your questions down below in the, I say questions like 300 times. Side effects. Are these in frame? Oh, hi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>